I was in maths class. It was so dead. I finished the maths task halfway into the lesson. Knowing I'd be waiting for everyone to be done, as usual, I came prepared. Adiola, who was sat next to me, clocked I was eating a Kit Kat when the teacher wasn't looking. What's that? It's a Kit Kat. Can I have a bit? No. I'll tell Miss. Miss! Shh, man. What is it, Adiola? Fine. Nothing. I thought I saw a pigeon scratching at the window. That's all. I broke it in half and gave it to her under the table. In the exchange, she clopped another Kit Kat on top of my bag and said, I want that one instead, not the one that you've touched. One pound then. 60p. 75. 70p. Okay, do. <laughs> and that was my discovery of making my own money. I've got to do what I've got to do in it. Mum's cut my allowance to pay the bills and rent. But I don't want to be broke, so I thought that supplying crisps and sweets will help me make some money. I sell strawberry laces, what's a munch, Haribo's, hula hoops, cookies, and what's it? You know the one that has a green frog on it? <laughs> yeah, Freddo. I priced them 20p for mates and 10p for the girls that I rate. <laughs> Don't judge me, it's business. <laughs> Just like boss man at Morley's, the fruit still workers on the high streets, the African aunties and uncles that sell plantain and meat in East Street, or the youngers that hang near my local park, them ones who beg olders to be part of their crew. It ain't as simple, because when they want you, they'll come to you. I know about boys in ends who join gangs for pee, but I can't do that. Mum's been through enough of my brother Matt being stabbed at 16. He got into the wrong crowd doing, doing different jobs around the South. Just before he made the choice to stop, he got into some kind of beef of ups and was stabbed just below the neck with a craft knife. He pulled through, luckily. I was nine. Mum used what she could afford to send him to my auntie's place in the north. He's still up there, doing alright for himself. As moist as it sounds, I do miss him sometimes. Rumours have started spreading that I'm selling in the playground. I have to be discreet now because Mr Johnson has his eyes on me and every black boy in my year. Profiling in the playground. Like we don't already experience that everywhere we go. Like. When I went into Tesco the other day, the security guard watched and followed me to see if I stole anything as I made my way to the cash till. Just as I was leaving, he asked me to show him what I bought. Excuse me, step to the side. Why? What's in your bag? What I bought. I saw you taking too long in the snack out of your hood on. Do you have something to hide? Is there a time limit looking for things? Don't make jokes with me, I know how you boys are like. Wow, uncle. I gave him my receipt to humour him, he checked everything, he passed the receipt back and then he changed up on me. So, are you in school? Uh, yeah. How are studies? Fine. That's good, that's good. So where are you from? Sierra Leone. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. You people love to gossip. My brother is married to one. She's always gossiping about who is married and has babies. She doesn't live with Nah, I have to go now. Okay, my boy. Stay in school. <laughs> it was mad booky. I already know I'm more likely to be stopped and searched. I already know how disadvantaged I'm supposed to be because of who I am. But that doesn't mean I can't change the outcome. I just need some guidance. Which is why I'm here. <laughs>